Hello students. Our lesson today is erosional landforms. Erosion, fluvial, landforms. 1. V-shaped valley. 2. Interlocking spurs. 3. Waterfalls. 4. Rapids. 5. Gorges. 6. Potholes. Description. River Valley, is a deep, narrow, and steep-sided. Steep slopes come down to the sides of the river channel, like the letter, V. Where? Upper course of the river. Slope radiant? Steep. Look at the picture. Do you see, the white arrow, at both side of the valley? This show, steep-sided valley. Do you see, the arrow pointing, down, at the middle? This shows, process of, vertical incision. Now, look carefully. Do you see, the V-shaped features? Hope, you see it. How, erosion, formed, V-shaped, valley? Angular boulders, and, steep slope. Produces a, large wetted perimeter, high friction and turbulent, help dislodging particles, and, increase erosion, abrasion, angular boulder, cutting into, the channel bed, and, grind against, banks, vertical erosion, help deepens, the river bed, by, downward incision, lateral erosion, valley sides, are, retreated, and, widened by, Lateral erosion. Interlocking spurs. Second, erosional features. Description. River profile. Upper course of the river. Protrusions of the surrounding highlands. Develops a winding course. Processes at work. Little energy left for much erosion. However, the current is stronger in the outer bank than in the inner bank of the river. Undercutting purple arrow of the outer bank as the river swings round alternate spurs on both sides of the river results in formation of spurs that appear to interlock waterfalls third erosional features waterfalls is a sudden fall of water along the course of a river the water plunges down almost vertically and rapidly, into a deep valley. Formation, by, alternate bands, of hard, and soft rock, the band, of resistant rock can, lie horizontally, vertically, or it can dip upstream. Hydraulic action, plunging water, erodes, softer underlying layers, undercutting, harder rock, which, eventually collapses. Formation, harder rock, then collapses to the foot of the waterfall. Here, abrasion and hydraulic action works together, grinding the side by lateral erosion and deepening the bed through vertical incision, forming a feature called a plunge pool. Another way formation of waterfall could take place by undercutting occurs due to erosion of the softer rocks. Overhanging, rock become, unstable and, eventually it, collapses. Again, the process, starts again. Headward erosion, takes place in erosion, retreat upstream. Picture of 3, shows, Niagara Falls, Canada, and, the USA. Niagara Falls are, example of a, waterfall formed because of the river, flowing over, rocks of, unequal. Resistance. Band of resistant limestone is underlain by less resistant shale. The water plunges down a 50 meters cliff. Niagara Falls is retreating upstream at a rate of about 1.3 meter a year, leaving behind a narrow 11 kilometer gorge. Another process of a waterfall formation is faulting. Faulting causes the land to be displaced, with one block being 
uplifted relative to the adjacent block. The displacement causes a difference in height, often by hundreds of meters. Picture of showing the waterfall formation, faulting. Look at the picture carefully. Identify the fault line. Do you see the uplift of land due to faulting? Picture 2. Victoria Falls, Zambezi River, Africa. River flows over a horizontal basalt plateau before it tumbles 108 meter to a narrow and deep steep sided gorge. Picture of the waterfall. Iguacu Waterfall, Brazil. Please refer to our notes figure 23, page 4. This is the real picture of Iguacu Fall. Plunge pool, a depression at the foot of a waterfall. The depression is excavated, enlarged, and deepened by the hydraulic action of the plunging water as it lands on the bottom river bed with great force. Rock debris swirled about by the turbulent water at the base of the waterfall. Then it erodes the depression intensively by abrasion to further enlarge. And the rapids develop where the gradient of the riverbed increases without a sudden break of slope. Stream flows over a series of gently dipping bands of a harder rock. The water is relatively shallow, however, there are rapid increase in the turbulence of a river. Hence, river increase its erosive power. Gorges, the fifth erosional landform. Description A deep narrow valley, steep and almost vertical side. Formation of gorges occurs if a river flows through resistant rocks, it will erode vertically faster than the sides of the valley can be worn away. The resultant valley formed called gorge. Potholes, the sixth erosional landform. Description, it is as depression in the riverbed. They are of different sizes, ranges as small as few centimeters and as large several meters in formation by river abrasion. Abrasive action is effective downstream of a waterfall and in flood conditions. That's the end of our lesson on river erosional landforms. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.